When building a website, I'm usually using one of three frameworks, Gatsby, Next.js, or Create React App. In this video, I kinda wanna go over how I choose which one for different projects, because I don't think one is strictly better than all the rest, and it really just depends on what requirements are for the particular project you're working on. So to start off with, I kinda wanna just say that it doesn't necessarily have to be these three frameworks you use as well, and that it kinda just has, depends on the underlying technology or the strategy they use to work. And so what I mean by that is Next.js uses server-side rendering. So you could pretty much fill in Next.js with any server-side rendering framework or your own custom server-side rendering. So by server-side rendering, I mean the React application is going to be rendered on the server. So you're gonna need a server somewhere that's doing that. And then it's gonna send back the HTML in your React application. Now contrast that with client-side rendering, which is what Create React App uses, and it does the rendering on the client side. So it's gonna just send back a bare bones HTML file, and then the rest of it is going to be rendered on the client. So what that means is, if we go to an application that is using Create React App, like the one I have for one of my projects, and we click on view source, you'll notice there's like no code in it whatsoever. And the reason for that is it has not been rendered when you just view the HTML. So this is the HTML that's sent back from the server, or in this case, Netlify. Um, and so it's bare bones, and then it's going to render the application and make it look like this on the client side. Whereas this would happen on the server side, and this HTML uh, would be sent back. For example, if we inspect this, we can notice there's a whole bunch of divs and stuff. Uh, and then lastly, the category I'm calling Gatsby, I'm putting Gatsby in, is the static category, where it builds all the HTML ahead of time, uh, and then it's going to uh, render, the HTML is gonna come back from the server, uh, and you can throw this up on a site like Netlify or a CDN or something, and it's gonna be static HTML, whereas Next.js and server-side rendering, you're gonna be basically running your own server, or you're gonna need a server somewhere that's dynamically serving the content. So I kind of made a matrix up here with kind of three things that I think about. The first is the simplicity or complexity of it. And when I say simplicity, what I'm talking about is basically two things. How hard is it to just de develop it, the application, and working with like third-party libraries? And then also complexity of uh, deploying it. Uh, then SEO, and then lastly, um, how often your data source for example, data in your database uh, is being updated. So those are like the three factors that I kind of think about uh, when trying to decide between them. So to start off with simplicity, I feel like Gatsby and Create React App both are pretty simple. Um, and Next.js, I wouldn't say is necessarily very far behind, but I would say it is behind them. And so what I mean by that is with server-side rendering, I feel like it's a little bit more complex when dealing with third-party libraries and just the general development experience. Getting things to work usually requires a little extra uh, fiddling and adding extra code in there to get stuff to work um, compared to using uh, these two libraries or using client-side rendering or just static HTML. Usually seems to be just simpler to do. And then when it comes to deployment, it is much easier to deploy these two because you can just put them up on Netlify or a CDN and that's it. You pretty much just let them handle the scale and the amount of requests that need to happen. Whereas with server-side rendering, you need to be, basically you're gonna be paying for a lot more. It's gonna be more expensive usually because you're gonna be having basically more servers that are running to dynamically create the content and send that back. So it is more complex to just do all of that stuff. So if you do not need server-side rendering, I'm usually gonna choose these because they're simpler to do. Now, with that said, let's move on to the next point, which is SEO. So here is where Next.js is very good, uh, and Create React App is pretty meh, and Gatsby is also good. So this is basically a Create React App or client-side rendering is known to be not as good with getting SEO. Um, and if you're basically having HTML that's being sent from the server, um, that's very good. So like if we come to our view source example over here and we got nothing back, uh, it is basically Google can parse it, um, but it just people have noticed that you get worse SEO when doing a create react app slash client side rendering as opposed to these two, whether it's stack or server side rendering. And then basically our last point is how often our data updates. So Create React App is pretty good at this. 
Um, Gatsby, I would say, is less good, and we'll talk about that in a second. And Next.js, I would say, is pretty good. So what I mean by frequent updates is if you have a site, for example, like Reddit, where you have a posts, comments, upvotes that are constantly happening, and the data is constantly changing, and so your HTML, your website, is constantly updating values. So Gatsby, I say, is less good in these scenarios because there's two ways to basically update your Gatsby site. One, build the entire site every time there is a change, which is a very valid way to do, um, especially if you don't have updates that are happening tons of times per second. And Gatsby is a very good choice, um, but building the site every second is probably not super viable. The other way you can do it with Gatsby is to just dynamically fetch the data um, and then render it client side. So for example, kind of how Create React app works. But if your website is basically doing a ton of uh, client side rendering, personally, I like using Create React app better than Gatsby, uh, but that's definitely a choice where you can use Gatsby for that as well. And this is kind of where uh, Next.js shines. If you have a website that is constantly changing and has or needs good SEO, um, then Next.js is the way to go because it's going to basically, uh, when updates happen, it's dynamically rendering the React application every time. So the updates are gonna come with it. And so you're gonna get updated data and updated SEO with your changes, which is very valuable. So you can kind of break down what I just did into a simple uh, decision tree, where basically you ask yourself, do you need good SEO? Um, if you don't, you can immediately just choose Create React App. That's usually what I do. And you can ask, when do you not need good SEO? Things like dashboards or any type of application where it's going to be, be behind a login wall. So if you need to require the user to log into your application to see anything, if you don't want anything to be public facing, whereas like a dashboard is usually not public facing, or if all the, the content is private, then uh, cre using Create React app is usually a good choice. So if you do need good SEO, then it just comes down to how often does your data update? If your data is constantly updating, I don't think Gatsby is a great choice because you're either just going to be building the site tons of times, um, which I don't think is a great option, or you can be dynamically fetching it, which I actually think is a valid option. And you could do that if you need some good SEO and you want to just dynamically fetch the data with Gatsby and you don't need that part to have good SEO. Uh, then I think that's a fine option to go with. Otherwise, uh, jamming Next.js is a good idea. So for things like, for example, if I was building Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, websites like that where things are going to be constantly updating, uh, then I would choose Next.js. If I was going with a site, for example, a blog, a personal website, a podcast page, uh, I would go with Gatsby, maybe an e-commerce site, um, anything where you're just going to be updating maybe every hour, maybe every couple of days. Or for example, uh, pretty much WordPress sites, I feel like are a good replacement. You can replace with Gatsby as well. Um, anything like that where the updates are just not happening as frequently, I like to choose Gatsby. Anyway, that's kind of how I like to go about deciding which one I'm using. I'd love to hear you guys' decisions below if you have anything else that comes in uh, when you're trying to decide between these different uh, frameworks. I'd love to hear how you guys choose as well.